Welcome to Charts Today, my name is David Linton and today's edition for Monday the 29th of October comes to you from London and we start by looking at the dollar index. Dollar actually just falling away a little bit this morning but pushing to new highs uh, on Friday so we're, we're still bullish on this trend and now nudging the August high of course if we make a new high. Uh, that's that's bullish in chart terms and, and on the weekly chart we see here we did actually close the week higher than we have any time since the middle of last year so dollar strength continues to dominate we haven't quite activated this upside target some 17 percent higher on the half percent chart but we do still have 1.7 percent to play for on this chart and around two percent from previous targets given back in June uh, still there so dollar strength very much uh, a key there. Euro looking weaker against that stronger dollar and 112 is still a target that's 1.89 percent lower so uh, we are just seeing Euro uh, still struggling against the dollar. Against the yen the dollar's off a little bit this morning it's uh, fallen quite sharply there uh, announcements out of the Bank of Japan but it is still looking bullish medium and long term. Sterling sitting at 128.30 did nudge 128 last week uh, we've still got this 126.60 target in place so uh, uh, looking vulnerable against the dollar still and against the euro sterling is also weaker bearish on the short term chart. Against the Swiss franc uh, sterling is also sitting at 128 bearish below the cloud and against the Aussie dollar uh, sitting at 180 sterling actually um, f selling off on Aussie dollar strength there. Uh, looking at Bitcoin, Bitcoin down very slightly, really has been stuck in a very uh, small sideways trend for now a couple of weeks. Well, in fact, several weeks we haven't really seen much action on Bitcoin. We do have downside targets still hanging over us on the medium term chart. We've got targets in either direction on the short term chart, but the medium and long term is still bearish. Uh, stock markets closed on Friday lower. Uh, the US market down 1.75% on the NASDAQ, on the S&P 500 index. The NASDAQ uh, also closing down 2.3%. Uh, uh, so we really are seeing the sell-off just continuing here. The Dow uh, was down over 1%, just starting to take the Dow medium-term bearish below the daily cloud. And the Russell 2000, where we've seen really the clearest sell-off now for several weeks, uh, down a further 1%. So uh, a pretty bloody uh, day. And the futures uh, still indicating lower today. The S&P future down a third. Uh, the Nasdaq E-mini down just slightly at 0.07% lower. So it's a bit early to say which way the futures will uh, open. The FTSE future is up half a percent this morning. Um, but the DAX future, uh, we haven't got a price yet, but the DAX future um, is still looking pretty bearish. And the cash markets, the FTSE, um, sitting at 6,939, below that critical 7,000 level. Uh, and if we look at the uh, FTSE 250, it sank quite a lot as well last week. And we're seeing here just this capitulation, really, uh, candle sinking lower. Uh, the DAX was down just under 1% on Friday. And again, that's looking pretty bearish. Uh, in the Asia-Pacific region, uh, we've got Tokyo down uh, a third of a percent, uh, the Hang Seng down a quarter of a percent, and China, most importantly of all, down 2.4%. So we're seeing that sell-off in China um, really showing through. Uh, the Sensex uh, in India uh, also sinking uh, lower at last week, but actually up this morning. But we've got downside targets now in the Indian market of 3 uh, five and two percent and here on this medium term chart 21 percent lower but no real long-term targets I have had people asking how low how low can the Indian market go um, it's it's just down to the short-term targets at the moment really and that's another two to four five percent is is possible based on those thrust targets uh, looking at commodities crude oil um, is actually up uh, sorry, looking at the Aussie market first is up uh, 1% uh, as well, so looking a little bit better there. Crude oil uh, still looking a little bit weak in the short-term chart, recovering slightly on Friday, but uh, down this morning. Um, so we're sitting at $77 on crude 
and on WTI we're we're looking um, pretty bearish here as well in the short term and that medium term chart turning bearish as well so not looking great US nat gas just another commodity there is three dollars thirteen has held up pretty well gold holding its gains from last week at twelve hundred and thirty two dollars uh, and just on the process of making this medium term transition while markets turn over um, from uh, bullish to bearish gold is turning from bearish to bullish so um, as you might expect. Silver looking better as well short term and quite a good uh, number of uh, short term upside targets to play for. US 10 year yields sinking quite uh, a lot down at 3.06% so we are seeing uh, a, a move there against the, the trend as well and German bonds actually rising on that uh, falling yield. Uh, looking at the um, markets in Asia Pacific, this is uh, all on uh, Yahoo data coming from Yahoo Finance. We see here the the red screen really for um, uh, the U.S. markets and Europe last week as well. These are all last week's uh, prices. Looking at Asia today, we see the uh, the Nikkei was down down actually just 0.16 percent. So uh, not a bad relative performance, but we are still bearish here, of course. We've underperformed the Dow Jones index by 9%. Looking at the Hang Seng, um, we're lower here as well. And the um, Chinese market, as we said, down very significantly. Uh, and really another new downside target of this recent uh, sell thrust. So Chinese stocks looking really vulnerable for a collapse. And we've been saying that most of the year. Uh, the Indian market actually looking a bit stronger this morning, as we said. And uh, the Nifty 50 actually up just under 1%. Uh, so we are just seeing a mixed picture. The COPS fee down 1.6%. Uh, so the Korean market not looking as strong. Taiwan actually up just over a quarter of a percent. And Jakarta down very slightly. Uh, taking a look at the stocks themselves, uh, we, we can have a quick look at the NASDAQ. Just looking at uh, the big performances last week. We had um, Amazon down 7% uh, on Friday off the back of their results. Uh, we've seen uh, Google still sinking lower there. We had Apple actually down 1.5%, holding on to its relative strength uh, quite well. Uh, and then looking at Facebook really clearly below this 150 level now and we see the relative strength really falling away underperforming the uh, Dow Jones index by 19 percent this uh, year so really quite key there uh, looking at some of the other majors uh, we had Microsoft uh, down 1.23 percent um, and Netflix down 4 percent and Tesla actually bucked the trend on Friday up 5 percent looking stronger had a very strong week last week so uh, looking quite good there taking a look at the Aussie market we see here the best performers uh, Sierra Resources um, although is looking very bearish they're up 8 percent Mine Pharma Group actually uh, up five percent and holding its bull trends really on both charts but the relative just starting to turn over this is relative to the Dow Jones index again uh, Saracen mineral holdings looking quite strong um, and if we look at the uh, worst performers we see here seven West media down um, just under five percent Treasury wine estates also turning bearish here just uh, down uh, four percent so we're seeing downside targets here on this stock as well of course you can deploy this on any um, uh, stocks you want looking at the Indian market banks are looking strong this morning we've got ISIS ICICI bank up eight uh, percent and looking bullish on the chart there uh, Axis is actually uh, holding its bull trend another bank there uh, State Bank of India um, also just not looking as bullish bearish below the cloud and if you look at India bulls uh, it's had a lot of fall off we've commented on that a lot lately uh, looking on the other side of the coin uh, for the bearish stocks we it's not all banks are up we do have some banks down industry bank down 3.8% uh, and looking pretty bearish yes bank um, also looking fairly bearish and HDFC. So very mixed picture there amongst uh, Indian banks uh, in the Nifty 50. Chinese stocks, as we said, down. There's only three stocks up in the list. So that's a clue that um, things are pretty bad. And we're seeing some really big falls here. Another 9% fall here. 
uh, on um, Kraichao Maotai, China Pacific Insurance uh, heading lower, and we're seeing all these prices coming in here from Yahoo Finance. Looking at uh, Hong Kong, uh, we do have HSBC holdings up quite strongly on uh, better than expected results today. The, st the stock has looked bearish. It'll be interesting to see how um, HSBC opens in London, um, where it's listed. Uh, but we still do have quite a mixed picture there as well. And in Tokyo, we see here we fared better with a, a number of stocks up as much as eight. Uh, six, four, five percent, and then on the downside, we do still have Rico down ten percent. So it's not all roses, but uh, probably one of the better looking marks in Asia today. That's it for now. Until tomorrow, happy charting. See you then.